guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl precious subs <laughs> thank you guys for coming back on my channel thank you for clicking on this video it's been a while it's been a very long while honestly but like i mean i'm here thank god for that today i'm just going to you know i'm just going to talk first of all before we go into what we have for today i'm going to be doing some unboxing if you know me well for like the hundredth time you know that I like unboxing so I got this mini humidifier actually I've already unboxed this but like I still wanted to show you guys that I have it I got it so if you can see the it's just a small humidifier and for those that don't know what it is I'm going to show you a bit so it's actually good for you know to ease dry cause if you have problem with your nose, your sinuses, you know, it's also good for like to get a clean air and uh, it's good for your crafty, it's actually good for the body. This is how it comes. There's already water inside here, but this is how it comes. If you can see this. So it has this little white, should I say foam or something that is inside this place that absorbs the water and diffuse you get so yes that's what it is so you put in your water you put in your essential oil or any oil that you want to use for it came with this US accord so what you do is you just plug it and plug it into your USB or anything that you to into your power bank or anything that you're using so this is how so it's plugged in and I'm going to show you how it works. It has this cute lights. <laughs> I don't know if you can see. So I've actually watched some videos why people take it in as tea we get and it's skin and all. I'm still getting used to how it works. But I like the nice fragrance that it, it brings out. So you can, you can put essential oil, you can also put like fragrance oil. Let me show you the fragrance oil. So see the little bottle I bought for it, yeah. Yeah, so I just put it in any time that it finishes. So the water finishes, I have to refill and put it in my So the little tiny foam that comes into it, that absorbs the water, 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 Oh, what am I? What, what content am I going to put out there? What content am I going to put out there? We are going to be doing. Uh, don't mind me if I'm looking down on my phone because I'm using my phone for it. So we are going to be doing unpopular opinions and let's see if I agree with it or not. If you agree with the opinion or not. So <laughs> I went online and I saw like a couple of people saying their own unpopular opinion, and we are going to see how it is first. Unpopular opinion I'm seeing someone is stating is there is nothing wrong with suicide. There is nothing wrong with suicide. I don't. <laughs> well, I don't know as a Christian, but I mean, why would you want to take your life? I mean, like, well, as a Christian, I think I'm the one, I'm the one seeing is deeper than that. People believe in nothing actually, and I mean, that's their own opinion, but. Don't take your life, please, please. Just believe in God and everything will be well. Speak out, talk to somebody. I mean, it's not as easy as I'm saying it. I know, and I know there are people suffering with different kind of things that means they want to kill themselves or want to commit suicide. But please, don't commit suicide, please. So the second of unpopular opinion is that people should be able to choose when they want to die. Am I seeing this kind of <laughs> opinions? I don't think you're supposed to suffer when there may be another way. Are you prolonging life or are you prolonging death? It's not a popular opinion with my friends. They say God is in charge. Exactly what I'm talking about. So basically, this person does not believe in God. But I mean, who would you choose when you want to die? I mean, the life was given, this life was given to you. 
don't you think that there are, there are things to achieve, more things to enjoy in this life, even though it's full of sin, but like, you want death. It's guys, don't think about dying <laughs> when it's not your time. Please. Okay, so this one says. This seems strangely unpopular in the social media age, but it's okay to have been born. People should not be shamed for simply having been for simply having been wrong in the past. Nobody's above mistake, I mean. Well, it's the world we live in now. People are bashing other people for like being wrong, but I mean it's not right. I agree with this person. Making a mistake is okay. I mean, that's how some people are. Whether you do right or you do wrong, they take the slightest thing to like pass you by. But you have to be, I mean, you, you have to acknowledge that, oh, you're wrong, and try to like forgive yourself for being wrong, and not actually think of or even rather get messed up with the way people are talking about it. Oh, you're wrong, you're wrong. As human beings, yes, you tend to feel that way when people always see you're wrong, or when people are always bashing you or shaming you for being wrong, but I mean, what is that what is this? Most importantly, if you have made your mistake, will you do it again? No? You won't go on. We have here overly loud vehicles make their drivers look stupid and not cool. <laughs> I mean, I agree. I recently was in a bus, in a bus where the bus, the, the bus next to us was very loud. Whether there was something wrong with it, uh, what was it called? Exhaust pipe or exhaust pipe. It was very loud and I'm, and I'm like, this guy is cussing, he's disturbing you. Your, your car is loud, why should he move your video in the first place? <laughs> then another one is people that play very loud music. I mean, you, we don't need to notice you. We really don't need to notice you. But like, you see seeing cars that play very, very loud music. What happens? To you? you can go to the club, I mean, or you can just go to your house and play really loud music. You don't need to be like on the road. Well, I agree with this person. That's my whole thing. Um, you can only succeed in life if you have a college degree. <laughs> I kind of agree with this. In as much as I believe that there are people that can't afford schools, that don't go to schools, that can't get their degree, but they they strive, they um, true hustle, they play. But at the same time, I just I just think and I feel that if you start making it like you will be pushed to go and get that degree. You will be pushed to go and get whatever. But I know that they are businessmen, they are good in their business, they don't go to that grew up not going to school, not going to school. But what I'm trying to say is like, if that person is successful in the business and have money, most of the time they go and get a degree or they go to school. You can actually have your own opinion, but that's my own opinion. There are also some people that have college degrees and they don't have anything. They are not successful. Let me just say the truth. For example, in my country, the certificates most of the time is useless at the end of the day. You see yourself going to learn another thing. That's my opinion. Maths is one of the most enjoyable subjects at school. <laughs> actually enjoyable if you know it. Honestly, if you if you understand maths, any form of maths, it's enjoyable. I'm 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 really blessed with that. For those that don't know maths, that don't follow me. But knowing it, that don't enjoy it. Sorry, but that's a whole A trip to the mountains is better than a trip to the beach. <laughs> I'm sorry. Which mountain? How many mountains wait for see they go for here? Job searching can be fun. Nibo, <laughs> Nibo, where? Ha! Job searching is not fun. I don't think it does. his or her own unpopular opinion, but I mean, it's really unpopular because I mean, eh? <laughs> it isn't rude to ask a girl her age. I think so too. I mean, it's not rude. 
not. I kind of agree, but it depends on how you ask that question and in what situation you're asking that question. Some people can be rude with it. Yeah. Making the bed is a pointless chore. Like making your bed, dressing your bed is pointless. Do you like it looking like that? I mean, there's this satisfaction that there's this satisfaction that comes when you dress your bed, and maybe you're coming from the long day, you're very stressed, and you want to sleep on it. Why would you say it's a pointless chore? I mean, make your be arranged. You're the reason your life has turned out as it has. I won't say it all. I won't say it all. You know, situations. I mean, things happen to people, and their life just turn out. That they can't control and the other person are the way it is. So I, 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 I don't have to be specific. You can have kids before you get married. No comments. Street parents raise good liars. Street parents raise good liars. True or false? Honest, I think so too. Having plastic surgery will not make you fake. I mean, you're having plastic surgery, you're already fake. Why not just be real? Go and check the definition of fake. <laughs> Money comes first, everything comes next. Peace comes first. Peace of mind comes first. Everything comes next. Peace of mind is very underrated. I mean, peace of mind is the goal. Yes, guys, so that is the end of my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. You can actually tell me your own unpopular There are a lot of unpopular opinions, so you can actually say your own. And I hope you like and enjoy this video. I hope you share and comment. Just, you know, comment. Tell me. What's your own popular opinion? And you can trash it out in the comment section. Thank you very much. I really want to be doing this all the time. I don't have to like wait as long yet because I think I've, I personally I think I've discovered. So yes. Once again, if you're new, if you're new to my channel, thank you very much for coming. I hope you like, I hope you share, I hope you comment, and uh, subscribe to my channel. Most importantly. See you next time. Bye.